The Ju-52 is a transport aircraft that was designed and manufactured by German aviation company Junkers. Development of the Ju-52 commenced during 1930, headed by German aeronautical engineer Ernst Zindel. The aircraft's design incorporated a corrugated duralium and metal skin as a strengthening measure, which was very unusual at the time. The Ju-52's maiden flight was performed on 13 October 1930. It was initially designed with a single engine, however, it was produced in quantity as a trimeter. The primary early production model, the Ju-52, was principally operated as a 17-seat airliner or utility transport aircraft by various civil operators during the 1930s. Following the rise of Germany, thousands of Ju-52s were procured as a staple military transport of the nation. The Ju-52 was the principal production model. The Ju-52 was in production between 1931 and 1952. In a civilian role, it flew with over 12 airlines, including Swissair and Deutsche Lufthansa, as both a passenger carrier and a freight hauler. In a military role, large numbers flew with the Luftwaffe, being deployed on virtually all fronts of the Second World War as a troop and cargo transport, it was also briefly used as a medium bomber. Additionally, the type was deployed by other nations' militaries in conflicts such as the Spanish Civil War, the Chaco War, and the Portuguese Colonial War. During the post-war era, the Ju-52 had a lengthy service life with numerous military and civilian operators, large numbers were still in use by the 1980s. Even in the 21st century, several aircraft have remained operational, typically used for purposes such as heritage aviation displays and aerial sightseeing. The Ju-52 was similar to the company's previous Junkers W-33, although larger. In 1930, German aeronautical engineer Ernst Zindel and his team designed the Ju-52 at the Junkers works at Desse. According to aviation author J. Richard Smith, the Ju-52 directly drew upon the company's first world warrior at Junkers J-1, the world's first all-metal aeroplane. On 13 October 1930, the first prototype, designated Ju-52 Ba, performed the type's maiden flight, it was initially powered by a single Junkers-built liquid-cooled V-12 engine, capable of generating up to 800 horsepower. During the aircraft's extensive trials, it was re-engined with a 755-horsepower BMW 4 water-cooled inline-six power plant. The second prototype, designated Ju-52 Da, featured an increased wingspan and was powered by the BMW 4 engine at first, it was soon re-engined with the 750-horsepower 14-cylinder twin-row air-cooled radial Armstrong Sibley Leopard and re-designated Ju-52 Dai. Later on, the Ju-52 Dai was again re-engined with the 750-horsepower Junkers Jumo 204 air-cooled inverted inline-6, after which it was re-designated Ju-52 Du. The third prototype, designated Ju-52C, had a strengthened structure, a modified leading edge, and was fitted with both a wheeled and float undercarriages. During May 1931, one of the prototypes, designated Ju-52 Kai, was written off after a crash. While these initial aircraft had been powered by a single engine, Junkers decided to develop the Ju-52 into a trimeter configuration. Accordingly, the Ju-52 3 meters was developed, being powered by an arrangement of three radial engines. According to Smith, the earliest known Ju-52 3 meters was delivered to Bolivian airline Lloyd Aereo Boliviano during 1932. During its initial production years, airlines were the type's most common customers. By the mid-1930s, the Ju-52 3 MC and Ju-52 3 Fe were the two primary production variants, both being powered by the BMW 132 radial engine. During 1934, work commenced on a militarized model of the Ju-52 3 meters, designated Ju-52 3 MG 3E, on behalf of the then secret Luftwaffe. This model could function as a medium bomber, being furnished with a pair of defensive gun turrets and operated by a crew of four. Between 1934 and 1935, a total of 450 Ju-52 3 MG 3E aircraft were delivered to the Luftwaffe. Numerous improved models would be introduced prior to and during the Second World War. The dominant production model was the Ju-52 3MG-7E, 
featuring advances such as an autopilot, enlarged doors to the cabin, and other general enhancements. It was configured as a pure transport aircraft, being capable of carrying up to 18 fully equipped troops. Defensive armaments comprised a dorsal-mounted 13mm MG131 machine gun and a pair of sideways-mounted 7.9mm MG15 machine guns. Successive models saw other improvements, such as revised glazing, newer engines, undercarriage strengthening, and increased takeoff weight. The final wartime model to be developed, designated Ju-52-3 MG-14E, featured improved armor protection for the pilot and a bolstered defensive armament. From mid-1943 onwards, the Luftwaffe began to make less use of the Ju-52, interest having waned in the type. German officials were interested in procuring a successor to the type. At one stage, the Reich Air Ministry showed enthusiasm for the Junkers Ju-352, a larger transport aircraft somewhat resembling the Ju-52. Actions were taken to convert Junkers Ju-52 production lines to instead manufacture Ju-352s, however, the conflict's end in May 1945 led to the effort being abandoned in an unfinished state. As such, German production of the Ju-52 was terminated during 1944. Smith claims that a total of 3,234 aircraft of various models were constructed during the conflict. In the post-war era, manufacture of the Ju-52 resumed, albeit in foreign countries. It was constructed in France by Avian's Amiot as the Amiot Oc.1 Tauken. It was also produced in Spain by Construcciones Aeronauticas S.A. CASA as the CASA 352. A handful of captured wartime aircraft were also rebuilt by Short Brothers of Northern Ireland for civilian service. During its service with Lufthansa, the Ju-52 had proved to be an extremely reliable passenger airplane. This positive experience contributed to its adoption by the Luftwaffe as a standard aircraft model. In 1938, the 7th Air Division had five air transport groups with 250 Ju-52s. The Luftwaffe had 552 Ju-52s at the start of the Second World War. Though it was built in great numbers, the Ju-52 was technically obsolete. Between 1939 and 1944, 2,804 Ju-52s were delivered to the Luftwaffe. The production of Ju-52s continued until around the summer of 1944, when the war came to an end, 100 to 200 were still available. Lightly armed, and with a top speed of only 265 km per hour, 165 miles per hour, half that of a contemporary hurricane, the Ju-52 was very vulnerable to fighter attack, and an escort was always necessary when flying in a combat zone. Many Ju-52s were shot down by anti-aircraft guns and fighters while transporting supplies, most notably during the desperate attempt to resupply the trapped German 6th Army during the final stages of the Battle of Stalingrad in the winter of 1942-1943. From 24 November 1942 to 31 January 1943, 488 aircraft were recorded as lost, this number included 266 Ju-52, 165 He 111, 42 Ju-86, 9 FW-200, 5 He 177 and 1 Ju-290, and about 1,000 flight personnel. Hitler used a Deutschloft Hansa Ju-52 for campaigning in the 1932 German election, preferring flying to train travel. After he became Chancellor of Germany in 1933, Hans Bohr became his personal pilot, and Hitler was provided with a personal Ju-52. Named Immelmann II after the First World War Ace Max Immelmann, it carried the registration D-2600. As his power and importance grew, Hitler's personal air force grew to nearly 50 aircraft, based at Berlin Tempelhof Airport and made up mainly of Ju-52s, which also flew other members of his cabinet and war staff. In September 1939, at Bohr's suggestion, Immelmann II was replaced by a four-engine Focke Wolf FW200, although Immelmann II remained his backup aircraft for the rest of the Second World War. We invite you to like the video and subscribe to the channel, thank you.